It may surprise or even shock you, but what I'm about to say could be the most important message you've heard in a long time. If you're seeing this video, know this, God says. The unbelievable breakthrough awaits you. Yes, you, the chosen one. This isn't just another message or coincidence, it's a divine sign that something extraordinary is about to happen in your life. The very fact that you stumbled upon this video, or maybe you've been drawn to it, this is no accident. Think about your everyday life for a moment, the struggles you face, the frustrations, the moments when you feel like the world is pushing back against you. Maybe you've even felt like giving up at times, as if the world just doesn't understand your purpose, your mission. But that's exactly why this message is for you. God is telling you that all those trials, all the seemingly impossible obstacles, were not meant to break you, they were shaping you, preparing you for this unbelievable breakthrough that is now on the horizon. If you're here right now, it's because you're meant to hear these words. If you are a true chosen one, you'll stay till the end, because this is for you. If you're not, well, it's likely you won't make it to the finish line. Before we dive deeper into what this breakthrough means for you, I want to remind you of the importance of taking action. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, Astral Aura, and help us reach 10,000 subscribers, let's spread this message far and wide. Leave a comment with the number 77 foot to send a signal to the universe, letting it know you're ready to receive. And don't just watch this once, play it on repeat to gather all the energy from this message. Every time you play it, the power of the words will embed deeper within you, amplifying the signal you send to the universe. Remember, this is no ordinary moment, it's your divine appointment. Chapter 1, The Waiting Season Wasn't In Vain You've probably been in what feels like an endless waiting season, moments when life seemed to stall, where nothing moved forward no matter how much effort you poured in. It's almost like walking through quicksand. The harder you pushed, the more it felt like you were sinking, unable to gain traction. I understand how deeply frustrating and exhausting that can be. It's like you've been running a race with no finish line in sight, and every step forward feels like it's pulling you further away from your goal. But here's something crucial you need to remember, the waiting was never in vain. This season wasn't about denying you what you asked for, it was about preparing you for what's coming. You weren't waiting because God forgot about you or overlooked your efforts. On the contrary, God was strategically placing you in a position of growth. Every delay was a part of his divine plan, carefully orchestrated to refine you, shape you, and strengthen you for the exact moment when you be ready for the breakthrough he's about to pour into your life. Now, imagine if that breakthrough had come earlier, when you first prayed for it, when you first desired it. Would you have been truly ready? Think back to the version of yourself from a few months ago, maybe even a few years ago. Would you have been capable of handling the immense responsibility, the challenges, or the blessings that this breakthrough will bring? Sometimes, the waiting isn't about withholding, it's about timing. God knows that some blessings, if received too early, can overwhelm or even harm you. But he's been working in the unseen spaces of your life, preparing you in ways you might not even recognize yet. The waiting season has been your crucible. It's in this period of stillness that you were refined. God has been stripping away what doesn't belong, old habits, limiting beliefs, relationships that no longer serve you. Each trial, each disappointment, has been like a sculptor's chisel, shaping you into the person you need to become for what's next. It wasn't punishment, though it may have felt like it at times, it was preparation. When God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, is not just speaking to anyone, he's speaking to you, because you've done the work. You've been in the shadows, quietly building your strength, developing your character, and deepening your faith. You've endured in those moments when others would have turned back. When doubt tried to creep in, you stood firm. You stayed faithful when nothing made sense. And now, 
the season of waiting is transforming into a season of breakthrough. The very obstacles that once stood in your way are becoming the stepping stones toward your greatest victory. Take a moment to reflect on the signs around you. Have you noticed subtle synchronicities? Maybe numbers keep repeating, certain phrases keep coming up in conversation, or perhaps you've experienced small moments of clarity or connection that seem too perfect to be coincidental. These are not just random occurrences. These are divine confirmations. The universe is aligning for you, arranging situations, people, and opportunities to open the path to your breakthrough. God is moving in ways you can't even see yet. Behind the scenes, he's orchestrating the details of your destiny. It's almost like a puzzle. Pieces that didn't seem to fit before are now starting to come together in ways you couldn't have predicted. But here's the thing, you don't need to see the whole picture right now. All you need to do is keep showing up in faith. Even when the steps ahead seem unclear, trust that God is leading you exactly where you need to be. You might feel tired, worn down by the waiting, but know this, the very act of waiting has made you stronger. You've grown in ways that you couldn't have if everything had come easily. Your patience has deepened, your perseverance has become unshakable, and your faith, your faith has been refined by fire. These are the qualities that will sustain you when the breakthrough arrives. It's easy to look at the waiting season and see only the lack, the delays, the closed doors. But what if you shifted your perspective? What if, instead of seeing it as a time of stagnation, you began to see it as a time of preparation? God wasn't just holding things back from you, he, he was holding them for you, saving the best for when you would be fully ready to receive it. Think of it like this, you don't plant a seed and expect it to bear fruit the next day. There's a season of growth that has to take place first, beneath the surface, where no one can see. That seed needs time to take root, to grow strong enough to support the fruit it will one day bear. In the same way, you've been in your growth season. It might have felt like nothing was happening, but beneath the surface, God has been strengthening your foundation, ensuring that when your breakthrough comes, you'll be able to sustain it. And that breakthrough, dear chosen one, is closer than you think. All the signs, the synchronicities, the quiet whispers in your spirit, they are all pointing to this moment. God is telling you, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you because he has seen your faithfulness. He has witnessed your struggle, and he is about to reward you in ways that will leave you in awe. Keep your eyes open. Stay ready. The waiting season wasn't a waste, it was the foundation for the miracle that's coming next. Trust in the timing, because God's timing is perfect, and your breakthrough will be nothing short of extraordinary. Chapter 2 The Power of Endurance Endurance is something we all admire in others, but often find difficult to cultivate within ourselves. It's easy to stay the course when things are going well, when progress is visible, and when there's a clear path ahead. But what about those times when the road feels endless, and every step feels heavier than the last? It's in these moments of difficulty, when you feel like you're at your breaking point, that your endurance is truly tested. And for chosen ones like you, this endurance has a purpose beyond what you can see right now. God has been building something within you through every trial, setback, and delay. You may not have realized it at the time, but every challenge you faced has been an opportunity for growth. It's in those moments of hardship that your faith was stretched, your resilience was tested, and your character was refined. And here's the beautiful part, endurance wasn't just something you developed to survive, it's the very thing that's qualifying you for what's next. God doesn't allow you to go through difficulty without reason. There's a higher purpose to your pain, and a breakthrough that only comes through persistence. Imagine if you had given up during one of those tough seasons. Imagine if, instead of pressing forward, you had chosen to walk away from the path set before you. The very breakthrough you are about to receive may have never come to pass. God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you because you've endured when others gave up. 
You stayed the course, even when it seemed like everything was falling apart. This endurance has not only strengthened you but positioned you for blessings that most people would never even dream of. You've been tested and tried, but through it all, you've remained steadfast. And that endurance has not gone unnoticed. Look around you, how often have you noticed that just when things seem the darkest, a glimmer of hope emerges? That's not a coincidence. Every time you chose to persevere instead of giving in, the universe took note. Every time you held on to faith when doubt was louder, the energy around you shifted. These are confirmations that you are on the right path, and that the breakthrough you've been waiting for is on its way. When you face trials, it's easy to believe that God is distant or that your prayers are going unheard. But I want to challenge that perspective. What if, instead of thinking that God is silent in your struggles, you began to see your endurance as a divine tool being sharpened for the next level? What if the delays were not rejections, but simply redirections, ensuring you were in the perfect place for the blessing that's about to unfold? Consider the small, everyday moments of endurance. Each time you got back up after being knocked down, each time you chose faith over fear, you were aligning yourself with God's plan. The trials you faced were not meant to break you, they were meant to mold you into the person you need to be to carry the blessings that are coming. The pain, the frustration, the waiting, it was all part of a divine setup. Remember, diamonds are formed under pressure. The same principle applies to your life. God has allowed you to face the pressures of life because he is forming something precious within you, something that will shine brightly once it's fully revealed. The waiting and the endurance weren't for nothing. God was polishing you, removing the impurities, and shaping you for a purpose far greater than you can imagine. So, if you're feeling worn out, if the weight of your journey feels heavy, take heart. Your endurance is proof that you're almost there. The finish line is closer than you think, and the reward will be worth every moment of struggle. This is why God is saying to you, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you. It's because he has seen your endurance, and he is ready to reward it in ways that will leave you speechless. And here's something important, the breakthrough won't just be a single moment. It's going to be an ongoing unfolding of blessings that continue to build upon each other. The endurance you've shown has set you up for a season of overflow, where one blessing leads to another, and every piece of the puzzle starts to fall into place. You've been running this race for a long time, and now you're about to see the fruit of all that effort. Don't let doubt creep in now. You've come too far. The very fact that you're hearing this message, that you're still showing up, still believing, is a testament to the strength you've cultivated along the way. Trust that the God who has carried you through the valley will be the same God who leads you to your mountaintop. The endurance you've developed is the key that will unlock the door to your breakthrough. Chapter 3, The Unseen Forces at Work Often in life, we become so focused on what's directly in front of us that we forget there are unseen forces at work behind the scenes. When we don't see immediate results, it's easy to feel like nothing is happening. We get discouraged, assuming that our prayers have gone unanswered, or worse, that God isn't paying attention. But the truth is, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't happening. In fact, the most powerful movements are often the ones taking place behind the curtain, where we can't see them yet. God is constantly working in the unseen realms of your life. Every prayer you've whispered, every tear you've shed, and every moment of faith has stirred something in the spiritual realm. The breakthrough you're waiting for has been building momentum, even if it feels like nothing has changed. God has been aligning people, opportunities, and circumstances in ways you can't yet comprehend. Think about it like this, when a seed is planted, you don't immediately see the growth. For days, weeks, sometimes months, it seems like nothing is happening. But beneath the soil, the roots are growing, expanding, and anchoring themselves deep into the earth. Only when those roots are strong enough does the plant finally break through the surface. The same thing is happening in your life. 
God has been growing your roots, preparing you for the moment when your breakthrough will burst forth. Sometimes, the waiting feels unbearable because we want to see instant results. But God's timing is perfect, and He is never late. While you've been waiting, He's been working. Behind the scenes, He's been moving mountains, clearing obstacles, and opening doors that you didn't even know existed. The very forces of heaven have been dispatched on your behalf, and they're working tirelessly to ensure that everything falls into place at the right moment. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. He endured years of hardship, betrayal, and imprisonment, all while his destiny was being shaped behind the scenes. He couldn't see it at the time, but God was orchestrating every detail, positioning him for an unbelievable breakthrough that would not only change his life, but the lives of an entire nation. In the same way, God is working behind the scenes of your life, orchestrating every detail for your good. Every prayer you've sent up is being heard. Every time you've chosen faith over fear, heaven has taken notice. The unseen forces at work are moving in your favor, and soon, what was hidden will be revealed. You're not just waiting for any breakthrough, you are waiting for the unbelievable breakthrough that God has promised you. When it comes, it will feel like everything suddenly falls into place, but in reality, it's been in motion for a long time. So, don't be discouraged by what you can't see. Trust that God is working behind the scenes. He's not forgotten you, and He's not delayed in answering your prayers. What's coming is bigger than you've imagined, and it's being prepared with the utmost care. The waiting season is not wasted time, it's the time when God does His best work. Stay faithful, chosen one, because the unseen forces are aligning in your favor. What's coming is nothing short of miraculous, and when it arrives, you'll see that every moment of waiting was worth it. Chapter 4 or A Shift in Perspective One of the greatest challenges we face in life is learning to shift our perspective. It's easy to become so fixated on our problems, our struggles, and our delays that we lose sight of the bigger picture. We focus on what isn't happening instead of recognizing what is. But here's the thing, God often works through the very situations we're trying to escape from. Have you ever considered that the very thing causing you frustration might be the key to your breakthrough? It's all about how you look at it. What if, instead of seeing your delays as setbacks, you began to view them as divine setups? What if your challenges weren't roadblocks but stepping stones leading you to something greater? In the midst of hardship, it's easy to get tunnel vision. You focus on the problem in front of you, and everything else fades into the background. But God is asking you to shift your perspective, to see beyond the immediate and into the eternal. The things that are causing you pain right now are the very things that will lead to your greatest blessings. But it starts with how you choose to view them. Think about it this way, a diamond is created under immense pressure. Without that pressure, it would remain just another piece of coal. In the same way, the pressure you're feeling in life is refining you, shaping you, and preparing you for something extraordinary. But in order to embrace the blessing, you first have to embrace the process. You have to trust that even in the discomfort, God is working all things together for your good. Sometimes, a shift in perspective is all that's needed to unlock the breakthrough. When you start to see challenges as opportunities for growth, everything changes. You no longer feel defeated, you feel empowered. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me, you start asking, what is this teaching me? And that shift alone can open doors you never thought possible. God is calling you to elevate your perspective. You see, chosen ones are not meant to think or operate like everyone else. While others may be consumed by their circumstances, you are being asked to rise above them. To see with spiritual eyes and recognize that what's happening in the physical is only a small part of the story. The real work is happening behind the scenes, in the unseen realm where God is aligning everything according to His perfect plan. When you shift your perspective, you also shift the energy around you. 
Instead of attracting more frustration, more doubt, and more fear, you begin to attract clarity, peace, and divine solutions. The universe responds to the energy you put out, and when you begin to see your situation differently, everything starts to shift in your favor. Take a moment to reflect on the things in your life that are causing you the most stress right now. What would happen if you decided to see them through a different lens? What if, instead of viewing them as obstacles, you began to see them as opportunities? Opportunities to grow, to strengthen your faith, to build resilience, and to prepare for the next level of your journey. God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, but you won't be able to fully receive it until you shift your perspective. The breakthrough is already set in motion, but your mindset will determine how you walk into it. The key to unlocking it is to start seeing things through God's eyes. The delays are not denials, they are detours to something better. The challenges are not punishments, they are preparation for the greater things to come. When you start seeing your life from this elevated perspective, you begin to understand that every moment, every experience, every struggle is all part of a divine setup. God is moving the pieces into place, and while you may not understand it right now, trust that everything is happening for your highest good. This shift in perspective is the key to unlocking the breakthrough that has been waiting for you all along. So, take heart. The very thing that's been causing you frustration is the thing that will propel you into your destiny. Trust that God is working all things together for your good, and that the breakthrough He has for you is greater than anything you could have ever imagined. Chapter 5 Embracing Divine Timing In a world that thrives on instant gratification, waiting can feel unbearable. We live in a society where everything is expected to happen at lightning speed, whether it's success, relationships, or answers to prayers. But the spiritual realm doesn't operate on our human timetables. God's timing is divine, and it's often vastly different from what we expect. Understanding and embracing divine timing is one of the most powerful lessons chosen ones must learn, especially when it feels like your breakthrough is long overdue. You might be asking yourself, why is it taking so long for this breakthrough to happen? But what if I told you that God's delays are not denials? In fact, every moment of waiting is a part of the divine plan. You are exactly where you need to be, and everything is unfolding exactly as it should, according to God's perfect timing. Divine timing means that things happen when they're supposed to, not when we want them to. It can be hard to accept, especially when we feel ready for the next level. But God sees the full picture, and sometimes, the timing has to align in ways that we can't even comprehend. He's not just working on you, He's also working on the circumstances around you, preparing the right people, the right opportunities, and the right situations to ensure that when your breakthrough arrives, it's unstoppable. Think of it like this, if a seed is planted in the wrong season, it won't grow, no matter how much you water it or tend to it. It needs to be in the right environment, at the right time, for it to flourish. The same applies to your life. God has been planting seeds in your heart, in your spirit, and in your circumstances, but they will only bloom when the timing is right. And when that moment arrives, the growth will be rapid and undeniable. God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, and this breakthrough is tied to divine timing. You might feel like you've been waiting forever, but when God moves, He moves swiftly. The breakthrough that took years to prepare will manifest in a moment. It will happen so quickly, it will take your breath away. But you must trust the process. You must trust that God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with your own expectations. The waiting season is not wasted time. It's a time of preparation, growth, and alignment. God is using this time to mold you, to refine your character, and to prepare you for the weight of the blessings He is about to pour into your life. If the breakthrough were to come too soon, you might not be ready to fully receive or sustain it. God is not just interested in giving you the breakthrough, He wants you to thrive in it, to live in it, 
and to let it transform your life. Divine timing also teaches us patience and surrender. It forces us to let go of control and trust that God knows what he's doing. It's easy to want to rush the process, to take matters into our own hands, but doing so can lead to unnecessary stress and frustration. When you surrender to divine timing, you allow God to work in ways that exceed your human understanding. You open yourself up to miracles, to divine interventions, and to outcomes far better than anything you could have planned. Think about the times in your life when things didn't go according to your plan. At the moment, it might have felt disappointing, even devastating. But now, looking back, can you see how those delays were actually a blessing in disguise? How certain doors closing led you to better opportunities? This is the power of divine timing at work. What feels like a delay is often a deity that's taking you somewhere even greater. So, instead of fighting the waiting season, embrace it. Lean into the process. Trust that God is aligning everything in your favor, even when you can't see it yet. The breakthrough is coming, it's already on its way. But you must be patient and allow divine timing to unfold in its perfect way. Just like the seasons change in their own time, your season of breakthrough will come exactly when it's meant to. Remember, God's timing is never early, and it's never late. It's always right on time. Trust that the same God who has brought you this far is the same God who will bring you to your breakthrough. The waiting season has a purpose, and it's setting you up for the most incredible moment of your life. When the time is right, you'll know, because everything will fall into place effortlessly. Chosen one, embrace the waiting season. Embrace divine timing. And know that when God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, he means it. It's coming, and it's going to exceed your wildest expectations. Trust that God's timing is perfect, and when your breakthrough arrives, it will be more than worth the wait. Chapter 6 the power of faith in the unseen. One of the most profound qualities that defines a chosen one is faith, faith not just in what is seen, but in what is unseen. You may find yourself in situations where everything looks bleak, where nothing seems to be working out in your favor. But as a chosen one, you are called to have faith beyond what your physical eyes can perceive. This kind of faith is what moves mountains. It's the kind of faith that allows you to step into the unknown, trusting that God has already paved the way for you. Faith is not about waiting until you see proof. It's about believing even when there's no evidence. The very essence of faith is trusting in the unseen, knowing that God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for your good. This is why the Bible tells us to walk by faith and not by sight. If we rely only on what we can see, we limit the possibilities that God has in store for us. But when we walk by faith, we align ourselves with the miraculous, the divine, and the breakthroughs that are beyond human comprehension. God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, and this promise is tied to your ability to believe even when it seems impossible. Think about the moments in your life where you faced incredible odds. Maybe it was a health crisis, financial hardship, or a relationship that seemed beyond repair. In those moments, did you see a way out? Or did you have to rely on faith to pull you through? The breakthroughs you've experienced in the past weren't because you could see the outcome, they came because you believed in the possibility when no one else could. Chosen ones are often tested in the area of faith. You will encounter moments where doubt creeps in, where fear tries to take over, and where it feels like everything is falling apart. But those moments are precisely when faith is most needed. Faith is the bridge between where you are now and where God is taking you. It's the key to unlocking the unbelievable breakthrough that God has promised. Faith isn't just passive waiting, it's an active choice to trust, even when the situation seems hopeless. It's believing that God is still in control when everything around you is screaming otherwise. It's refusing to give in to fear, anxiety, 
and worry because you know that God's plan is far greater than anything you could ever imagine. And the beautiful thing about faith is that the more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. Consider the story of Abraham, who was promised that he would be the father of many nations. For years, it seemed like the promise would never come to pass. He and his wife Sarah were well beyond childbearing age, and yet, Abraham held on to his faith. He believed in the promise even when it seemed impossible. And because of his faith, God fulfilled his word in ways that no one could have imagined. Abraham's story is a powerful reminder that faith in the unseen is what activates the miraculous. Look at your life now. Are there areas where your faith is being tested? Are there situations that seem too big for you to handle? Instead of focusing on the problem, shift your attention to the promise. God has already declared that the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you. Your job is to believe it, even when all signs point in the opposite direction. The power of faith lies in its ability to transcend the natural realm. It allows you to tap into the supernatural and draw from a higher source of power. When you operate in faith, you are no longer bound by the limitations of the world. You open yourself up to divine interventions, to miracles, and to breakthroughs that defy logic. Faith is not about being naive or ignoring reality, it's about choosing to trust in a higher reality, one where God's promises always come to pass. Faith is also contagious. When you stand firm in your belief, even in the face of adversity, you inspire others to do the same. Your faith becomes a beacon of hope for those around you, a testimony of God's goodness and faithfulness. Chosen ones are called to be leaders, and part of that calling involves showing others what it looks like to walk by faith. Your breakthrough isn't just for you, it's for the people who are watching your journey, waiting to see if God will come through. And when he does, your testimony will inspire them to believe for their own breakthroughs. So, chosen one, do not waver in your faith. The circumstances may not look favorable right now, but that's exactly when faith is most powerful. Trust that God is working in the unseen. Trust that every delay, every obstacle, every hardship is part of the process leading to your breakthrough. The power of faith is what will carry you through the darkest nights and into the brightest mornings. And when the breakthrough arrives, it will be even more unbelievable than you could have imagined. God has already promised that the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you. Now it's your turn to walk in that promise with unshakable faith. Keep believing, keep trusting, and watch as God turns the impossible into reality. Chapter 7, Stepping Into Your Destiny Everything you've been through, every trial, every setback, every waiting season, has been leading you to this moment. The moment where you step fully into your destiny. You see, the breakthrough God has for you isn't just about solving a problem or bringing relief to a difficult situation. It's about aligning you with the divine purpose you were created for. The breakthrough is not just an event, it's a transformation. It's the moment when everything shifts, and you step into the fullness of who you were always meant to be. God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, but that breakthrough is about more than just your personal victory. It's about your destiny, your calling, and the impact you are meant to have on the world. As a chosen one, you were not placed on this earth to live an ordinary life. You were created for greatness, for purpose, for divine assignments that only you can fulfill. And this breakthrough is the key that unlocks the door to that destiny. Stepping into your destiny requires courage. It requires letting go of the past, of old mindsets, of limiting beliefs, and of anything that has been holding you back. The breakthrough is not just about what God is doing for you, it's about what God is doing in you. His transforming you from the inside out preparing you for the incredible things he has in store. But you have to be willing to step into that new version of yourself, to embrace the person God has called you to be. This means leaving behind the doubts, the fears, and the insecurities that have kept you playing small. It means recognizing that you are worthy of the breakthrough, 
that you are worthy of the blessings and that you are worthy of the destiny God has prepared for you. Chosen ones are not meant to shrink back in fear, they are meant to rise up in boldness, to take their rightful place in the world, and to fulfill the assignments God has given them. As you step into your destiny, you will notice that doors begin to open in ways you never expected. Opportunities will present themselves that seem almost too good to be true. But these are not coincidences, they are divine alignments. God has been preparing the way for you, and now that you are stepping into your breakthrough, everything is coming together in perfect harmony. But stepping into your destiny also comes with responsibility. You are being called to be a leader, a light, and an example to others. Your breakthrough is not just for you, it's for everyone you are meant to impact. When you walk in your purpose, you create a ripple effect that touches the lives of countless others. Your obedience to the call on your life will inspire others to step into their own destinies. Your faith will spark faith in others. Your victory will become a testimony that encourages others to believe for their own breakthroughs. God says, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, and that breakthrough is the gateway to your destiny. Everything you've been through has been preparing you for this moment. The challenges you faced have equipped you with the strength, the wisdom, and the resilience needed to carry out the assignments God has for you. Now is the time to step fully into that destiny, to embrace the calling on your life, and to walk in the fullness of the purpose you were created for. As you step into your destiny, remember that you are not walking alone. God is with you every step of the way. He has already gone before you, clearing the path and making the way straight. All you have to do is keep moving forward in faith, trusting that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. The breakthrough is not the end of the journey, it's the beginning of a new chapter, one filled with purpose, power, and divine alignment. So, chosen one, rise up. Step into your destiny with confidence, knowing that the breakthrough you've been waiting for is here. God has declared it, and now it's time for you to walk in it. The unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, and it's leading you straight into the destiny you were born for. Trust the process, trust the timing, and trust that everything you've been through has been preparing you for this moment. The time is now, step into your destiny and watch as God's incredible plan for your life unfolds in ways that will leave you in awe. Chosen one, you've come to the end of this message, but the journey is only just beginning. You've heard God's promise, the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you, and now is the time to claim it. Everything you've gone through has led you to this moment, this divine opportunity to step into a future that's more extraordinary than you've ever imagined. Remember, the signs are all around you. The waiting season was never wasted, and God's timing is always perfect. You've been prepared, refined, and now, you are ready to walk into the breakthrough that's been waiting for you all along. But this isn't the end of your faith journey, it's a call to deeper trust, stronger belief, and unwavering commitment to the purpose you were created for. As you step into your destiny, know that this is just the beginning of the wonders God has in store for you. Before you go, let me remind you of something crucial. If this message resonated with you, if you truly believe you are a chosen one, then it's time to take action. Don't just let this be another video you watch and forget. Play this video on repeat. The more you tune into this frequency, the more energy you gather, and the more powerful the signal you send to the universe. Take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, Astral Aura, and help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Your support amplifies the reach of this message, helping others align with their own breakthroughs. And don't forget to leave a comment with 77 to send that powerful signal to the universe, affirming your belief that your breakthrough is coming. If you stayed with me until the end, know that you are truly a chosen one. You were meant to hear this. You were meant to receive this. Now, go out and walk in faith, knowing that the unbelievable breakthrough awaits you. Keep watching, keep believing, and most importantly, keep stepping into your destiny.
The universe is ready, God is moving, and your breakthrough is on its way.